Hi, Tav Green from Stealth Products. I'm here today to talk about Movis joysticks. We often talk about our Movis joysticks because of the broad spectrum of function they have. All the way down from 8.5 grams of force for proportional joystick all the way to 650 grams of force. What we often don't spend enough time showcasing is road compensation. Now before we talk about road compensation, let's just remember trimmer damping. This is not what we're talking about today. Trimmer damping just dampens the forces and averages them out so that if there's extra input into the drive control of the chair, we are reducing the output. Road compensation is a safety feature, but also a control feature that is built into the joystick. Within the gimbal and housing of the joystick, there is a sensor, and as the sensor is vibrated, it will send a signal to the chair to now slow down the chair. The function here again is safety and efficiency for the end user. In a typical setup, let's use latched for example. If I'm a chin driver in latch mode, if I'm driving forward outdoors and I encounter rough terrain, I'm faced with the challenge. Number one, am I able to control my chair? Two, if I want to slow down my chair for the rough terrain, I have to now go through my mode function into standby select, select a new drive profile and re-engage the chair. And once I clear that terrain, I have to repeat the entire process not necessarily efficient. But with road compensation, we can enable this to be automatic. As the joystick senses rough terrain through vibration in the internal housing of the joystick itself, it will actually slow down the chair to a predefined parameter until we clear that terrain, and then it will slowly ramp back up to the user's predetermined speed. So the benefit of road compensation is gonna be safety and efficiency of use for the end user. So once we've gotten into our Movis configurator, if we want to engage road compensation, what we want to do is make sure we've connected to our joystick through a USB to a PC or a device with Movis configurator. Once we've connected, we have information available to us, but what we want to do is go to parameters. Once we're in parameters, go down to the bottom and look at compensation mode. In compensation mode, we have three settings, off, on, and manual. Our manual setting is so that the end user can engage road compensation at will using a forward reverse forward command. And if we go to on, then road compensation will be on in the background at all times. Click apply and that setting is now saved. Once we go into our compensation factor, we have five options. We have very weak, weak, normal, strong, very strong. Very weak is going to be a weak compensation, meaning less, and very strong will be obviously more compensation. X compensation is the lateral aspect of this, not talking about speed, but in essence, steering. So it's gonna stabilize the chair. And our deactivation pattern is how quickly the command, again, forward, reverse, forward, how quickly that command has to be inputted. So once we have our compensation mode enabled and our compensation factor set, we apply and we save to device. Now we're ready to go. On behalf of Stealth Products, thanks again for joining us and watching this video. We hope you came away with more information on Movis joysticks and specifically road compensation. Remember, this is a free feature within the joystick, serial number 2000 and above. If you want more information, you can contact your CSR or for in-servicing, you can contact your local sales rep. And remember, if you have problems with mobility, Stealth has solutions, solutions for life.